you need to be able to evaluate expressions on your calculator. And this isn't hard, but a lot of people make mistakes here because they don't understand how the calculator does its computation. And knowing, how the cal knowing what the calculator is doing is the key here. The calculator is aware of the order of operations. So if you have an example something like this, 2 plus 18 divided by 3 minus 1, it makes a difference how you type it. If you just type in 2 plus 18 divided by 3 minus 1, the calculator knows that multiplication and division, in this case 18 divided by 3, will get done before the addition and subtraction. So the calculator will think to itself, okay, 2 plus this, 18 divided by 3 is 6, and then I subtract 1. And then it, then it says to itself, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. And that's not what we want in this case. What we want is 2 plus 18 divided by 3 minus 1. What we want is this. We want the 2 plus 18, which is 20, divided by 3 minus 1, which is 2. And 20 divided by 2 is 10. You see, when these are grouped, the 2 plus 18 up top and the 3 minus 1 on the bottom, we get a very different answer than if we don't. So let's actually look at this on the calculator. Most calculators have parentheses in this particular calculator. They're right down here next to the division key. And if I use those properly, and I type in in parentheses here, 2 plus 18, close parentheses, divided by, and then in parentheses, the denominator, 3 minus 1, I should get 10. And there it is. And now you see if I don't put in the, in the parentheses, I'll end up with a 7 like we talked about. So if I just type in 2 plus 18 divided by 3 minus 1. In this case, it will evaluate the 18 divided by 3 first, since it knows to do division before addition and subtraction. And you see I get 7. Two very different answers. And the correct answer is the 10. 2 plus 18 divided by 3 minus 1. That's correctly typed there on the top line of the calculator. So make sure you use those parentheses when you need to to group the items in the numerator and group the items in the denominator.